Hello everyone, this is Jason and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Linux virtual machine using VirtualBox for your Windows running system. First of all, we need to download the VirtualBox app. Head to the link that I have in the description and click on Windows Hosts. When the download finishes, proceed to install it in your computer by following the next steps. Then, we will need to download our Linux distribution. As it is well known, Linux has many different distributions with the most popular being Ubuntu Linux. For this specific case, I will go ahead and download the Lubuntu distribution since it's more lightweight than Ubuntu and it has all the necessary features as Ubuntu. I will have both links to the download pages of the two distributions in the description. Now that we are in the Lubuntu download page, go ahead and click on the desktop 64-bit button for the Lubuntu ISO file to start downloading. Now that everything is downloaded, let's start by setting up our virtual machine. Open VirtualBox and click on New, type the name of the virtual machine, and let's call it Test Linux VM. Then, select the folder you want it to be saved. In the ISO image field, click on the arrow and the option Other. To get to the folder you downloaded the linux.iso file, select the file and hit next. I would suggest for low-end machines with 4GB of RAM to keep the base memory at 2GB or 2048 MB, but you can set it at 4096 MB if you have a computer with 8GB or more. For the processor setting, if your computer has a 4-core processor, I would suggest allocating only 1 to 2 cores, but for 4 plus cores, you can go for more. A general rule is to keep the core count of your virtual machine to the half of your actual CPU cores. After selecting create a virtual hard disk now, allocate at least 25 gigabytes of space for your virtual machine. Especially if you want to store files on it, more than 25 gigabytes would be a good idea, but it's totally up to you. Hit finish and your virtual machine is ready to launch. Click on start and be patient. Now, if at this moment you get an error message that looked like this or this, you might need to turn on AMD V or Intel VTX. This can be done in your computer BIOS by enabling the settings Secure Virtual Machine Mode or AMD IO MMU in some modern motherboards. Another factor that might be conflicting with the setup is the Hyper-V feature. In order to make sure this will work, we need to turn this off by typing Turn Windows Features on Windows Search and deselecting the Hyper-V feature. If you don't run in any issues, this or something similar based on the distribution of Linux should appear in front of your screen. Select Try or Install Ubuntu by pressing Enter and let's let it load. When we're finally in the Ubuntu environment, if you want to install Ubuntu operating system, go to the desktop and open Install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Select the language of your preference, your location and your keyboard layout. In the Partitions menu, select Erase Disk and hit Next. Fill the user info that you will need to be logging in and hit install. After the installation completes, hit restart and then in this message prompt, hit enter. There you have it, your very own Linux virtual machine. After logging in, in order to access the terminal, go to the Lubuntu icon and under System Tools, open Qt Terminal. That was the video guys, if you liked it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification. See you next time!